okay so we saw some basic level examples in previous video so let me do some challenging problems in this section so first thing what we need to do is we need to make sure the given differential equation is in standard form or not now well this differential equation is in fact in standard form so we can identify our p so my p is the coefficient of y which is negative 3 and don't forget you have to take that negative into account now identifying p we can find the integrating factor so integrating factor mu is e to the integral of p now e to the integral of p p is negative 3 we integrate with respect to x and what we get is if you integrate negative 3 you get negative 3x now remember i asked you to pause a minute and think whether you can further simplify this integrating factor or not well we cannot further simplify this integrating factor right this is what it is okay so we take our integrating factor now and we multiply the standard form by the integrating factor so it will be e to the negative 3x dy over dx minus 3 e to the negative 3x y x e to the negative 3x okay now once you have it we know our left hand side can be rewritten as derivative of integrating factor times y derivative with respect to x and our right hand side is x e to the negative 3x so we have it multiplied by dx and then we do an integration it seems to be like very easy here right until this point well the left hand side is always same integrating factor times oops integrating factor times y now when you do the integration on the right hand side though it's not a basic integral we all what we all had in previous problems were basic integrals here this is algebraic function and an exponential function and a product between them we have to use integration by parts here that is what that is why i prepared you in the previous quiz for integration by parts so let's pause a minute and let's do the right hand side integral separately because it will take long space okay so what we need to do is we need to use integration by parts so integration by parts formula u dv is uv minus integral of v du so we have to choose a u and we have to choose a dv we compare these two and we choose our u to be x okay and we choose our dv to be e to the negative 3x now u the choice of u is usually a function that you can differentiate very easily and choice of v dv is actually dv is e to the negative 3x times dx choice of dv is actually a function that you can integrate easily if you look at these two functions you have x is the easiest one to differentiate and we can use the uh, the help that as you say l-i-a-t-e rule to choose u so the priority goes down we have an algebraic function that is x here we have an exponential function that is e to the negative 3x here so x gets the priority so u is the x right so l-i-a-t is to choose u so that is why i choose my u to be x okay so u is x now we know u we know dv now we need to find v so to get v out of dv we have to integrate v right we know the derivative of v so if you need to know v well we have to do integration so if we do integration e to the negative 3x is e to the negative 3x over negative 3 and we need du so to get du you have to differentiate so derivative of x is 1 so now you can see the reason why we choose a function that is very easy to differentiate for you because you want to differentiate at some point right that is why we choose now here that this is why we choose a function that you can integrate easily because dv is going to get integrated okay anyway now we know everything that we needs to know to use the integration by parts formula right 
So u is x, so let's substitute. u is x, b is e to the negative 3x over negative 3 minus v is e to the negative 3x over negative 3. du is actually dx right from here. Okay. Now we have to do a one more integration here which is this negative and this negative it's plus so let's make it plus so e to the negative 3x divided by 3 integrated again a negative comes because this negative and it's e to the negative 3x you divide by another 3 which becomes 9 here plus c that's the integral of the right hand side so what is the uh, what is the left hand side we got so left hand side we had e to the negative 3x times y integrating factor times y okay so this is the solution implicit solution now to get the explicit solution we have to divide by e to the negative 3x so right hand side every term will divide get divided by e to the negative 3x so x over e to x times e to the negative 3x negative 3 e to the negative 3x minus e to the negative 3x 9 e to the negative 3x plus c over e to the negative 3x so this cancel out we get a clean solution negative x over 3 minus 1 over 9 plus c we can write this as e to the 3x bring this term to the numerator and this is our solution okay so the challenging part here was that is that in the right hand side we got an uh, integration by parts use okay so let me do another challenging example um dy over tx minus 3y over x plus 1 is equal to x plus 1 to the 4 now we have an initial condition here okay so this is a in this is an initial value problem so how do we solve it same steps right you have to you have to check whether this differential equation is in the standard form or not now it's already in the standard form we have to identify p so my p here is negative 3 over x plus 1 the coefficient of y right so p x function of x of course p and it's negative 3 over x plus 1 we need to find the integrating factor. So integrating factor is e negative the negative 3 of x plus 1 dx. Okay. So if you do the integration, um, well, before let's take that negative 3 outside for simplicity. And if you integrate 1 of x plus 1, what you should get is natural log x plus 1. Okay. All right. Now, we have to pause a minute here and think whether we can simplify integrating factor or not. Well, it turns out that we can. How? First, I, I don't like this negative. So, let's make it positive. We can rewrite the, this as 1 over e to the 3 natural log x plus 1. Okay. And we can write this as e to the natural log x plus 1 cube. Bring that 3 to the inside by logarithmic rules. And then furthermore, we can write okay, this as x plus 1 over x plus 1 cube. Because this part is x plus 1 cube, right, by logarithmic rules. Okay. We know our integrating factor. Now, what we need to do is we had the standard form. So, we have our standard form. We know our integrating factor. So, we multiply the whole equation by integrating factor. So, and when we do that, we get 1 over x plus 1 cube d by u over dx minus 3y x plus 1 cube times x plus 1 so if you multiply by 1 over x plus 1 cube on the right hand side well x plus 1 cube and a cube here will cancel out we will get x plus 1 right okay so the left hand side will reduce down to the integrating factor 1 over 1 plus x cube times y 
divided by dx over dx not divided by dx is equal to x plus 1 so well we will multiply both sides by dx and we do an integration so when we do the integration on the left hand side we will get integrating factor times y okay and x plus 1 integrated x square over 2 plus 1 integrated x plus arbitrary constant c okay then we multiply the whole equation by x plus 1 cube so x over 2 x plus 1 cube plus x x plus 1 cube plus c x plus 1 cube okay so this is the explicit solution for the differential equation okay so i show you show you how to do a couple of problems and yeah thank you very much